So what is the Living Historical Museum? The museum is that it is alive. There are um, interpreters, such as myself, who are there to interact with you. Um, sometimes we do performances or skits, and sometimes we can jump out of the acting perspective and go into more educational and compare it to contemporary things of the day. A Living History Museum is an accurate portrayal of a historical time period or era. Here at Fort Edmonton Park we represent four eras, the Fort, 1885, 1905, and 1920, all of them um, with people who partake in an active lifestyle and partake the act lifestyle and representation of what life would have been like in those time periods. And they can experience history as it happens, which I think is one of the best ways to learn just about anything. Um, and so Fort Edmonton, as an immersive living history museum, tries to bring people back into the past. We try to to help people participate in the past and learn about what's going on in an engaging, way. interesting yes. way. Absolutely, I, I find it's the most engaging way of uh, of teaching people, and it. Um, brings them right into it, and it allows them to participate in what's happening, it allows them to participate in history, which I think is a really special experience. Yeah, so we're, we're an interesting blend of both uh, uh, displays, which do include artifacts, so it is a museum display, but then there's also the people that you can interact with here, so it's uh, uh, a blend of that. Fort Edmonton Park is trying to give you an experience uh, through four different eras of Edmonton's history. Um, so we're trying to let you see how Edmonton started uh, as a fort in 1846, or in the 1846 era, uh, and then uh, move through time going into the settlement era, and then up through the municipal era, into the commercial era, finally in the 1920s. And so this gives visitors a great uh, experience of um, going through, starting at the beginning, and winding up uh, a little bit closer to uh, our own time and to a lot of things that they'll recognize uh, in the 1920s that even maybe their grandparents had. I would say that um, the best way to get your, the most out of your, out of your trip to Fort Edmonton Park would be to get in and amongst the interpreters themselves, the people who are making this history come alive. I would say the best thing would be to talk to them, uh, find out what they're doing, and and also let them guide you through through some of the uh, well, some of the adventures. Take advantage of the living side of the living history. You should ask questions and have interactions with the interpreters who are historically dressed to fit the appropriate era that they're in. They have most of the answers to all of your questions or any other inquiries that you have, and will make your visit much more interesting than simply wandering around. So you might see uh, interpreters such as uh, ourselves uh, doing their various historical activities. So whether we're cooking or knitting or even reading a historical book, those are all things that are meant for you to participate in and to, to garner knowledge from. So please feel free to, to sort of ask us what we're doing, what is that you're reading, uh, um, really push on us and uh, challenge us to answer your questions. So look through the program guide when you arrive and schedule your, your visit around the programs that you would like to see because they're really meant to, to engage you and bring you in and they're meant to be something big for you to see. Um, I mean, that being said, you don't have to go to programs. You can just feel free to go through the park and stop and talk to people. So often interpreters are very in tune with the fact that people learn differently. So uh, people may learn using uh, touch, taste, smell, hearing, seeing, and interpreters are there and trained specifically to cater to these different types of learning styles, so we do our best to uh, accommodate each person individually. Um, the key to really enjoying your experience at a living historical museum is to ask questions and um, get involved, know when the, the programs are happening, and um, ask permission to touch and experience as much as you can.